Constitution Commission. Uh, the report here is on page 16, session 9, where the Standing Orders Committee wants to reference back everything that's in that particular session. Now, this is a very important session because, as we know, 45% of people in Scotland voted against the union. They were defeated, but it quite clearly means that we have to get our act together in terms of discussing the UK constitution. That's very, very important. Uh, the National Council set up, uh, um, uh, gave me the job of uh, trying to convene a, a constitution commission to put a report together. We've had a big discussion in that constitution commission, and we basically agreed that the divide between people who are unionists and anti-unionists, we would set it aside, not because it's not important, but because it was too important to discuss in a very short time. It required further discussion. So the Constitutional Commission then decided that what we wanted to do was to put our draft to conference, accept the, the amendment from Liverpool, accept uh, the, the motion from Wales, we had an agreement with Wales to do that, so we had the backing of the Welsh comrades, and that would mean that we wouldn't discuss this central issue, but we would be able to discuss on, vote on other things. So I would want us to therefore change the decision and allow us to put some things and leave those other things, as it were, remitted on that basis. That means the resolution from Islington, uh, Sheffield, Camden, Southwark would go aside. Right. Can I follow this? <laughs> um, right. You're clear then that what their request is, is that we are allowed to make decisions around some of the motions and amendments within the Constitution section. That have the agreement of the Constitution Commission and Wales and the now, if we're clear, those in favour of that challenge, could you indicate now? Those against the challenge? I think the challenge is defeated. So, we will proceed as the Constitution session states. Next, please. <coughs> 